morning students okay today our new lesson is the natural realms of the act of the act little sphere okay little sphere in this lesson uh, we can observe that how these are uh, interrelated to the human being okay and how they and how they are interacted to the to us okay all this we can know in this lesson we can learn okay and in this we have rearms are four types okay rearms means rearms which have some common features Rearms which have some uh, common features. Okay, these rearms we have four four different four uh, four parts. Are it four parts? Okay, first one is lethal spear. Okay, and the second one is hydro spear. Hydro spear. Third one, atmosphere. Fourth one, biosphere. All these four four spheres are very important in our life. Okay. Okay. What is this? What does this means? And uh, in uh, from which language we, uh, came these words? Okay, these are came from the Greek words. Greek from Greek uh, language only these four are came. Okay, litho, litho Greek words. Okay, Greek language and litho means rock. Litho means rocks, a very hard rocks. And next, hydro. Hudo. But this is came Greek word is hudo. Hudo. Okay. Hudo means water. In Greek language, hudo means water. And atmos, all of you know that atmos means air. Atmos means air. And last, bio. Bio means what? Life. Bio means life. Okay, all these four are very important in our life. How they are important? How they are interacted to us? And how they are developing uh, constantly to us? Okay? See, let's we observe one by one. Okay? First one, lithosphere. Lithosphere means the word came from the Greek language and litho means the rocks. Okay? All of you open your textbooks page number 14 first. It is the solid crust. Crust or the hard top part of the earth. Okay? Litho spear means it is the solid crust. It is the Solid crust, so, solid crust or the or the hard 
hard top part of the earth. Hard top part. Okay? Part of the earth. Okay. I think all of you have the notebooks. So, write down in your notebooks as like running notes. Okay. What is lithosphere? Lithosphere means it is the solid crust or the hard top part of the part of the earth. See, we are standing on the earth. But this layer, in last lesson, in last chapter, we have learned uh, that earth has total three parts. Uh, parts, three, three portions. First one is crust and second one is mantle and third one is in core. Okay? Inner core and outer core also we have. Okay? Crust means top layer of the earth. In this lithosphere, in this chapter, we are learn about the learning um, about uh, very deeply. So, we have to learn. Lithosphere means what? It is the solid crust or the hard top of the hard uh, top of the earth okay hard part of the top of the earth hard part of top of the earth okay see we are standing on the earth this is very hard we mentioned that it is very hard in this lithosphere we have some rocks small rocks big rocks mountains all this we are having in this lithosphere. Okay? See. It is a solid crust or the hard top part of the earth. It is made up of rocks and material and covered with a thick layer. It is made up of a big and hard rocks. And it is made a thick layer on the earth. Chala mannangam. Okay, the crust, how many kilometers we have the crust means 30 to 100 kilometers. The crust layer is 30 to 100 kilometers. In Greek, just now I have told you, litho. Litho means what? Litho means rocks. Okay, it is not smooth surface as you see on the globe, but has high mountains, plateaus or highlands, low, low plants, Plains, deep valley and very deep basins which are filled with the water. Very big basins which we are filled with the water means nothing but oceans. Oceans, how the shape are? See. These are the ocean. Ocean shape like this means these are the big bowl or big uh, looking like a big basin. Okay, see, so in this lithosphere, we have valleys, hard mountains and low and uh, deep valleys also we have in this lithosphere and many of these features are spread by wind and water. These are, this lithosphere was spread uh, about the water or the winds. Portions of the crust in the form of dust etc. In this we have dust also. Okay. In this crust or in this lithosphere we have the dust also. Are mingled with the air and it is dust, rocks or all mingled with the air. When the lithosphere heats up due to sun rays are cooled down it influences the air and water too when the sun rays are falling down the lithosphere is capture the air and it will be heat it will give the heat to us and as the same way it cools the air and the water also we and most other living being beings live on this reals we use the rocks and soils and other things found on this hard crust in many ways. In this lithosphere, we found some rocks. These rocks we will use in different ways. Come and tell me how many ways we are using these rocks by our, uh, to our living. Okay, see, rocks are used for to construct the building, 
and so many waves and sand okay sand also we are using in the um, construct or build a building like this so many waves we use the rocks to construct okay we are um, we are giving we are build the uh, build with the rocks rocks are having in the lithosphere means but nothing but solid crust on the earth or hard part hard layer on the earth and the next one is hydrosphere Next one is hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means what? Water. To living on the earth, we need and most important is water. If the water is not there, means we can't live on the earth. Water is the main important. Okay, hydrosphere. The realm of water is called hydrosphere. The realm of the water is called the realm of the water. The realm of the water. Water is called hydrosphere. Okay. Hydro, the realm of the water is called hydrosphere. It came from the same as usual from the Greek word hydro, and the meaning is water. Hydro means water. And some part of the water is found deep down under the earth among rocks. Yes, some water it is under the uh, crust layer and also the under big rocks also. See, if we are crack one rock means we will get some water from there. The water is covered with the rocks. Okay. And it comprises of the various sorts of water and different types of water bodies like yes water uh, we have so many sources okay water means from rivers from lakes from oceans and from the seas we can get the water okay we have the water in this uh, ways and the next one is atmosphere or the third one is atmosphere atmos atmos means what air atmos means air the third one is atmosphere atmos atmos means air the, this is also came from the greek word okay the thin layer of air that surrounds the air is atmosphere the thin layer of the the thin layer that covers the thin layer layer of air the thin layer of air that surrounds the thin layer of the the thin layer of of air that surrounds the earth that See or must ensure write down in your notebooks. After you open the schools, I will check all of your notes. Okay, so write down what you are understanding and what I am telling to you. All these you have to write in your notes. Okay, and see atmosphere means the thin layer of the air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere now we are telling the weather atmosphere 
is cool or hot this is the atmosphere means this is uh, covered with all the dust also okay see it consists of a large number of gases including oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor etc. and dust parcels also. In this A we have oxygen, nitrogen, uh, uh, carbon dioxide and the water vapors and the dust also including the dust all mixed. All these uh, have, having in the atmosphere. Atmosphere means this. Write on those over. Uh, write down all of you in your notebooks okay and last one biosphere biosphere bios bios means what bios means life see if you want to, if we are living on the earth, means these three are main important. If we are like, means we have, must and should. We are depending, depending on these three. What are the lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Land, rocks, litho means rocks, uh, we need and hydro means water. Living means we are living on the air means uh, compulsory we want the water and atmosphere means air if we want to breathe we are breathing means air air, air also very important okay the remain the realm of life including bacteria which lie high up in the atmosphere or deep oceans constitute the biosphere okay all this life is very important okay as you may have noted noted about if need the presence of all the three realms land and water and the air if the life is main means if we want all these three okay life and next now you can realize that the three arms are deeply interrelated and influenced each other Deeply interrelated. These are three are very interrelated to each other. These are very important. If one is not there, means the other three is also not there. They are uh, interrelated. If we we can live without the air, if we live the, without the water, if we live without the rocks, no, nothing at all. We, we should have compulsory, we need these four. Okay, and next. First, lithosphere. We can deeply and broadly learn what lithosphere in this lesson. Okay, lithos means what? Lithos means rocks. Okay, rocks. Rocks means what? Landforms. Okay, rocks. We have some landforms. Okay, landforms. Landforms means lithosphere. Lithosphere means it is covered with the hard rocks, a thin layer on the earth. Means what? Nothing but a land landscape. Landforms. Okay. We have so many landforms on the earth. Plateaus, mountains and valleys. All this we have in this landforms only. Okay. See. Lithosphere deals with the land we live upon. Litho is lithosphere deals with land we live upon land we live upon as you saw okay in last chapter the crust the crust of the 
at this uneven crust means top of the layer on the earth is uneven it is sur the surface of the earth is very uh, as a same way no the earth we have the earth like this there is a no straight uh, on the surface of the earth landforms mountains mountains we have in this land okay filled with the ocean then there is continents in the landforms the water is also filled in the landforms means nothing but oceans oceans also we have in this landforms okay and and continents continents means what where we are living we are using the earth using the earth to live and to ourselves this those are called the continents and a kind of man we living chase navi man jeevam unna da anta continent all these called continent okay and remaining are the oceans but these continent are not a in single way avanni okate slope plus bhoomi mana manaki straight ga okate ila unda plate laga or paper laga ledu ela slopes ga untundi konni chotla mountains untayi konni chotla valleys untayi deep ga chuse untundi araku ala velam ankonni etla untada road asalu mottam down ki koncham untundi height ki kondam untayi chuttu kondalu untayi chetlu untayi okay all these we have in this landforms and the surface of the calm if in the land forms the water is covered then that is called the first order in this we have two types first order or primary and this was second second land order forms second order forms land forms okay land forms in this first order primary first order land forms okay first order land forms first order land forms means these are covered with the water means what oceans seas lakes all these uh, come in the first order land forms and the second order land forms second order land form is continents okay continents continents are in the second order forms the surface of continent is not even they have plain low lands plateaus and high mountains in second only we have plateaus mountains all this okay and valleys these are also in a way result of internal process of the earth earth is earth is move earth moves on the internal surface of the earth okay not on the top layer or upper part nothing but crust it is the low in the second part is moving internally they are changing but we don't know how they are moving because we don't feel now we are staying on the land but in the internal part the land is moving by one by one and the land is moving and Uh, they push it to the other continents also that's why we are getting the earthquakes okay paina mana nilabadukunnam manaku em avutundo em jarugutundo manaku teliyadu but lopata unda crust mantle lo mantle means the second layer part layer of the earth is mantle a mantle lo some uh, clashes jarugutu untaru anamata adi crust okadantho okati 
నెట్టుకుంటూ తోసుకుంటూ ఉంటాయి అనమాట లోపల మట్టి అనేది లోపల ఇలా పుషప్ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది బట్ వి కాన్ ఫీల్ మనం పైన ఉన్న మనకి ఏం తెలియదు కింద మాత్రం అది మనకు తెలియకుండా జరిగిపోతూ ఉంటుంది మనకు తెలియదు కాబట్టి మనం అది జరగట్లేదు అనుకుంటాం కానీ దాని లోపల దాని పని అది చేసుకుంటూ వెళ్ళిపోతుంది అందుకనే మనకి ఎర్త్ పైకి వస్తాయి చూసారా మీరు ఎప్పుడైనా భూమి చీలిపోతుంది వై బికాస్ దే ఆర్ పుషింగ్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ ఒక్కదానికి ఒకటి నెట్టుకుంటాయి గట్టిగా నెట్టుకునేప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది చూడండి మీరు దేనైనా పుష్ చేశారనుకోండి ఇలా ఏమవుతుంది మధ్యలో ఒక క్రాక్ ఇస్తుంది ఏదైనా సరే మనకి ఓకే బెలూన్ కానివ్వండి ఒక బెలూన్ తీసుకొని మనం గట్టిగా పుషప్ చేసామంటే పగిలిపోతుంది అలాగే దేనైనా సరే మీరు చాలామంది ఏం చేస్తూ ఉంటారు క్యారీ బ్యాగ్స్ చిన్న ప్లాస్టిక్ కవర్స్ ఉంటాయి వాటిని ఎయిర్ నింపేస్తారు ఎయిర్ నింపేసి గట్టిగా పుషప్ చేస్తారు ఏమవుతుంది అది పగిలిపోతుంది అలాగే పుష్ చేసినప్పుడు ఆ సైడ్కి అటు ఇటు మొత్తం అది లోపల అర్త్ అనేది లోపల భూమి ఒక్కదాన్ని ఒకటి కొట్టుకుం ఫైటింగ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఫైటింగ్ కొట్టుకుంటున్నప్పుడు అవి ఒకదాన్ని ఒకటి తగిలినప్పుడు ఆ స్పీడ్ ఆ ఫోర్స్కి మనకి క్రాక్స్ వచ్చేస్తూ ఉంటాయి ఓకే అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఈస్ ద జిక్సా పజిల్ అండ్ ద మూవీ ఫ్లాట్స్ జస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ టోల్ ఓకే సి ఈ లాస్ట్ చాప్టర్ ఆల్సో వి హ్యావ్ స్టడీ దట్ హౌ ద కాంటినెంట్స్ ఆర్ మూవింగ్ మూవింగ్ ఆర్ పుషింగ్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ సి ఐ విల్ టెల్ Pazil and the moments. See, in the last chapter, we have studied the moments of the earth. See, in this, in this, the continents are pushing to each other. Huh? So many long years ago, some millions of years ago, they are pushing another end. So now, this continent, ప్రజెంట్ బాడీ ఈస్ కేమ్ వేర్ దే ఆర్ పుష్ ఇవన్నీ ఒకదాన్ని ఒకటి తోసుకోవడం వల్ల ఎన్నో సంవత్సరాల నుంచి తోసుకుంటూ తోసుకుంటూ వస్తే ప్రజెంట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇవి అనేది మనకి ఏర్పడ్డాయి ఇవి ఫామ్ అయ్యాయి అన్నమాట ఓకే అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ సి విసా హౌ మెనీ కాంటినెంట్ లుక్ లైక్ పీసెస్ ఆఫ్ జిగ్సా పజిన్ హౌ సైంటిస్ట్ త్రూ అవుట్ ద in the beginning probably all continents were held together and how they broke up and gradually drifted drifted and came to their present places and a drifted means shifting drifted means shifting so many years so many years ago they are pushing to each other and finally they got these present places after years of careful study geologists have conducted that all the continents and even the oceans are actually situated on massive base of rocks called plates so many massive massive means a large position in structure massive a large structure okay massive means structure some uh, long years ago they have pushed under the and pushing to each other and at last they get the present feature present situation present places they have uh, stable అలా నెట్టుకుంటూ నెట్టుకుంటూ వచ్చి అట్ లాస్ట్ ఫైనల్లీ మనం ఇప్పుడు ఎలా అయితే గ్లోబ్ ఆర్ మ్యాప్ లో చూస్తున్నాము ప్లేసెస్ అవి ఆ ప్లేసెస్ ని ఆక్యుపై చేశాయి అనమాట అలా అండ్ there are about seven major plates on the earth plates massive or plates okay and there are about seven major plates on earth and several minor ones 
we have seven major uh, plates and some are minor what are the major plates okay plates means nothing but the structure a like large structure and a pedda safe ga pedda straight ga una bed sheet sheet okay plates means sheets a large sheets what are the seven uh, major plates means african antarctic eurasian pacific Okay, we have some major seven plates on the continent. What are they? First one is African, Antarctica, Euronesia, and Pacific, Indo-Australian, North America, and South America. These are the major, means big continents on the world. Okay, and next. Among the minor plates, Nazaka and Arabian plates also minor. What is special about these plates? These plates actually float on the mantle. These major minor plates are floating on the mantle. Mantle means second layer of the uh, earth. And floating, floating means tail to untai, pina. Okay, just ala untai. These are the uh, light weight. And they are constantly being pushed and therefore keep moving slowly. They are constantly pushing to each other and they are moving very slowly. But we don't feel. That's why we don't know whether they are pushing or not. They move slowly that we can't feel the movements. They are pushing very slowly. So we can't feel the movements. As a result of this movement, one plate pushes another neighboring plates. The region where the two plates meet the push each other, a lot of pressure is exerted by each of them on other. Yes, just now I have told you, when they are pushing to each other, they are very difficult to stand there. So, they are pushing to each other. And one plate pushes another the mantle while the other plate is pushing top of the chain of the mountain. In the mantle, they are pushing. But we can, uh, it is... Uh, move on the crust first top of the layer and this movement plates is called plate techno technots tectonics this process causes earthquakes etc now there are these plates being pushed yes just now i have told with the examples they are pushing to each other the main is um, I will open and open push chest come up to first to watch a record pie chaos and that's why we are getting the earthquakes and next one is sea floor spreading sea floor spreading okay next one is sea floor spreading how the sea is spreading all of you know that samudra mo in the mundu ko chest in the okay kilometer okay meter mundu ko chest in the okay dinner meter mundu ko chest in the and one of the minimum to get on there how the sea are spreading okay sea floor is spreading how the sea floor is spreading okay let me see 
Geologists studying the crust under the sea have discovered that under some oceans like the Pacific Ocean, there are mid-oceans, ridges or ranges. For, we can see the uh, oceans, but under the oceans also one middle sea is there. Okay. They, for, they are formed by the lava rising up from the mantle. In this middle range, the lava is growing up on the seas. These are found and discovered the geological geologists. And the eruption of the ridge creates new ocean floor made of blast rocks which when spread laterally from the ridge when uh, under the sea the lava will grow up then there also they formed a one new ridges see how means one uh, take one of bed sheet and uh, keep it on the table if we push one side that um, that uh, cloth they are can mountains see ఒక బెడ్షీట్ తీసుకొని మీరు టేబుల్ మీద వేసారు అనుకోండి టేబుల్ మీద వేసి ఒక సైడ్ మనం ఇలా ఇదిలిస్తాం కదా అలా ఇదిలిచ్చినట్టు ఇట్లా అన్నాం అనుకోండి ఏమవుతుంది మనకి పుష్ మనం ఇక్కడ నుంచి చేసినప్పుడు ఆ పుషిస్ ఎలా వస్తాయి మీరు చూసే ఉంటారు బెడ్షీట్ మధ్యలో ఇలా ఇలా వచ్చి ఉంటుంది మౌంటైన్స్ లాగా కదా బెడ్షీట్ ఇలా వస్తుంది ది క్రియేట్స్ సమ్ మౌంటైన్స్ దట్స్ వై ద దెర్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో ద మూవింగ్ అప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది ఇక్కడ గ్యాప్ అనేది ఎక్కువ వస్తుంది చూడండి ఆ గ్యాప్ లో దే ఆర్ ఫీలింగ్ న్యూ ఓషన్స్ ఓకే సి దస్ ఎ మిడ్ ఓషన్ బిజెస్ కంటైన్ ద న్యూయెస్ట్ క్రస్ట్ ఫార్మ్డ్ ఆన్ ద ప్లానెట్ ద బై దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఏ న్యూ ఓషన్స్ ఆల్సో దిస్ ఫ్రెష్ క్రస్ట్ ఈస్ బీయింగ్ స్లోలీ పుల్డ్ ఎవే ఫ్రమ్ ద రిడ్జ్ వైడింగ్ ద ఓషన్ బేసిన్ This lead to what is called the sea floor spreading. అప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది మనకి స్ప్రెడ్ అయిపోతూ ఉంటుంది ఇంక ఎక్కువ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది అలా స్ప్రెడ్ అయినప్పుడు ఆ పుష్ లోపల నుంచి పుషింగ్ వచ్చినప్పుడు అది కొంచెం మూవ్ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది ఆ క్రస్ట్ టాప్ లేయర్ ఆఫ్ ద యాక్ట్ ఈస్ మూవ్ అవుతూ కొంచెం మనకి స్ప్రెడ్ అయితే దట్ ఈస్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ ద వాటర్ ఆ స్ప్రెడ్ భూమి జరిగింది జరిగినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది అది మళ్ళీ స్ప్రెడ్ అయ్యి మనకి వాటర్ చేస్తుంది సపోజ్ సి చిన్న ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్కడైనా మనకి ఒక లేక్లో ఒక ఒక లేక్ కానీ ఒక బుర్ర నీరు ఉంది అనుకోండి నీరు ఉంది ఒక ఇక్కడ అంతా ఫీల్డ్ విత్ ద వాటర్ పక్కన నార్మల్ ఉంది ఈ నార్మల్ లో మనం ఏం చేస్తాము ఒక్కొక్కసారి ఇట్లా గుండె తీసారు అక్కడ ఒక చిన్న తొవ్వేరు అనుకోండి అప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది దట్ ఆ చిన్న గుండె కూడా మనకి ఫిల్ విత్ ద వాటర్ ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఆ వాటర్ ఫ్లో అయ్యి ఇలా వచ్చేస్తుంది కదా దాని పక్కన అంటే అప్పుడు అది స్ప్రెడ్ అయినట్టే కదా మనకి ఆ వాటర్ ప్లస్ ఆ గుంట స్ప్రెడ్ అయిపోయి కొంచెం పెద్దవారు అలా లోపల జరిగిన లోపల జరిగిన మూమెంట్స్ కి ఆ బయట అది గుంట లాగా ఏర్పడిపోయి ఆ గుండ అనేది కవర్డ్ వాటర్ తో కవర్ అయిపోతుంది అలా సీ ఫ్లోర్ మీన్స్ సర్ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎర్త్ సీ ఫ్లోర్ లో ఉన్న సీ ఫ్లోర్ మొత్తం కొంచెం స్ప్రెడ్ అవుతూ ముందుకు వస్తూ ఉంటుంది మనకి అలా ఓకే సి లైక్ దిస్ లైక్ దిస్ సి ద మార్జిస్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లేట్స్ our boundaries where the plates meet the sites of highest geological activity we saw how new crust is formed leading the sea floor spreading along the mid ocean ridges and the ridges see continental cracks due to pressure of the conventional currents local from uh, mantle lo pressure ekkuva adi bite ki vachinappudu second thing par see the cracked portion of the crust collapsed from the rift valley or depressed see when the pressure is coming from the mantle they are depressed and the valley crust the portion is cracked see this portion is middle of the portion is cracked okay and next oceans take the place of the depression still the magma keeps rising from the crust of or fault when the magma is upper growing up then there is covered with the water okay idi la bedsheet type like ikkada nunchi push up push up eppudaithe padindo idi pressure ayipoyi pai ki poyi ila manaki some pressure chesam ankonu manaki ekkada na chudandi okka sar pressure chesthe akkad gatti murthalu vachesa aa murthalu vachi nemu vachina crack kuda vastundi manaki so ala ikkada cracks vachu aa cracks they are filled with the remaining certain ocean with, with the filled with the water behind them and next uh, ocean the present like this the ocean is filled with the, uh, the ocean and spread it spreads the sea 
flow is spread okay like this we get uh, understood okay all of you understood okay today's topic is completed so all of you write down in your uh, notebooks and later i will give you the worksheets also okay thank you